We have reports coming in of over 200 dinosaurs rampaging through the city, battling each other and hunting down the last surviving citizens. I'm Eve Square reporting live for BS News. We will keep you updated as the city descends further into chaos. Do not reach for your remote. Hello everyone, welcome to my craziest and most detailed build in Jurassic World Evolution 2 yet. Ever? How am I ever gonna top this? 10 weeks of work all led to this moment. You guys pick the dinosaurs and you might even catch one named after you. I am so excited to show you this city completely overrun by dinosaurs, but I'm also excited to tell you that you can find dinosaurs in your own city on behalf of the first ever sponsorship on the channel. Thank you to Jam City for sponsoring today's video and thanks to Universal Studios licensing. If you are on your tablet or phone, you can go right ahead and download Jurassic World Live for free using my link below. I'll be giving away some prizes, so stick around to find out how to win. Jurassic World Alive is one of the top augmented reality collection games on the market and stands out from the rest for many reasons. All PvP battles and PvE raids are turn-based, so you have to strategize for each battle and raid. To win, you have to choose the right moves, but you also need to assemble the right team with type advantages. You create your team by darting wild prehistoric creatures out in the world to collect their DNA. There are over 280 marvelous creatures to collect with different levels of rarity. It's a completely unique collection mechanic that you won't find in any other game. When you have enough DNA, you can create the creatures, evolve them, and then fuse them to create a hybrid or super hybrid. When you encounter a big boss on the map, you can call upon the help of your alliance members via the in-game alliance chat in a unique feature called raids. Alliances can have up to 50 members and you can see who is online to help. My alliance is called Evolution Square because I'm a creative genius and there are only 49 Nine spots left so download the game right now using my link and join my alliance before it is full. If you missed out on joining my alliance you can still add me as a friend and even invite me to do a raid with you. If your alliance is active in pvp and skilled you can all improve by earning rare and exclusive prizes. Speaking of prizes I will be giving away some. If 200 of you awesome folks download the game using my link I'll give away a $20 steam gift card. If we get to 500 downloads I'll also give give away a $50 card. I'm challenging you to get to level 5 before the end of May. Share a screenshot with me on Twitter or Discord showing that you are on level 5 to have a chance to win the prize. Once more, thank you to Jam City for sponsoring today's video and thank you to Universal Studios Licensing. Osif is hunting down an Allure Titan in the farm. Oh, just screaming angrily at it though. Whoa, look at that sidestepping action. Woo! Oh, we have, oh God, there you go. Uh, is Safefish the Parasaurolophus? Oh, yikes. Uh, Safefish is, I would say, not safe. Yep. Oh, that was an impressive nose dive. <laughs> We're gonna head into first person mode and starting at the airport. Let me get rid of that. Who do we have over here? Proceratosaurus? Let me, let me sprint. Yep, Proceratosaurus just casually walking along the airport. This is actually where this entire city build started with the airport. Now, initially, you know, people requested, put the Spinosaurus in the airport, put the Spinosaurus in the airport. And eventually I did. I initially put him in the industrial area. I moved him over to the airport, but he was like, nah, this ain't for me, man. I don't want to get struck by another airplane. So he, he got out of here. But it looks like the Proceratosaurus have confidence that they can duck when an airplane is about to land or, or something at least. Now to exit the airport, we're gonna go over here and there's this little road that like winds through. We're actually going against traffic, but that's okay. We're rebels. We're allowed to do this. I mean, the city is going to hell in a handbasket anyway. So rules no longer apply. What? Oh my god, the way is shut. There is a bit of a blockade on uh, the off-ramp going towards the airport. What happens if we... Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <That's> a... Bunk. <laughs> that doesn't work. Let's not wake the sleeping Giganotosaurus, actually. Let's, uh, let's crouch on over through... Oh! Don't go into the long grass! I'm so sorry. Here we are on the highway. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go towards the farm. Ooh, we have... Tyrannosaurus in the middle of the road. I hear big footsteps. What am I? What am I? Oh, well, oh, there's another one. They're multiplying. Oh God. Hello. 
oh man, it's really cool. Like from the first person perspective, it really just hammers home how big these things are. It's amazing. All right, so we're actually gonna follow this off ramp to the farms and the greenhouse. We have uh, a giant swan over here. Elegant. She's beauty, she's grace. Oh, I don't know what just happened there, but she's making an about face. We have the greenhouse on one side of the road and the farm on the other side of the road. We have a Parasolophus just casually leaving the farm. Probably because the Tyrannosaurus Rex has entered the farm. Over here we have a little goat paddock because of course we do. That's like a prerequisite. You can hear their little hooves. Should we, uh, should we like quickly hop into a jeep? <laughs> We're gonna use the jeep to actually go back to the highway and then we'll continue on foot when we reach the city again because the rest of the city is across the highway. Oh, but oh my god! <laughs> and we're like a cat. This recovered dashcam footage from a DCPD vehicle shows an unlikely partnership of a Jaganotosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex moving west along Highway I-69. Stay tuned to BS News for the latest updates on the dinosaur invasion, as well as an exclusive interview with de-extinction expert Dr. Henry Wu. He will give his insight on this massive migration of the dinosaurs into the city. Gavin is on a mission. I just don't know where- Oh god, that's the mission. That's the mission right there. That's the mission. No? Where did that Arky go? <laughs> he just gave up. He's gonna eat that. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, don't- That's why you don't stop in the middle of the road. Kara! He's too thick, though. He can't keep up. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm too chunky for this. <laughs> He's just built different, okay? He's built different. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yep. He got there in the end, though. He's gonna add some extra pounds to those hips. <laughs> Did I just fat shame a dinosaur? <laughs> There's the Rex up ahead. Two Rexes for the price of one. It just killed something, like, right in front of me. Oh, are they fighting? Yeah, they are. Oof. Oh, two gigas. Giga versus giga. Bam. Yeah, this is more like a dominance display kind of fight. Oh, god, oh, god, oh, god, oh, god, oh, god, oh, god. No, 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 no. <laughs> proc, what you doing, proc? Run like the wind. Oh, my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that was cool. Oh, he's he's gonna go for it again. He's gonna go for it again. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, dude. You gotta latch on. Brock is not giving up, but maybe he should. <laughs> he has a can-do attitude, though, and I appreciate that. I'm a pineapple fighting a stingy Moloch. Oh, <laughs> well, congratulations, you won. <laughs> Phone guy versus Trodon. Oh, two Trodons. <laughs> the one that came scurrying across, that was hilarious. Osif and Omar, oh no, on the highway. Let's get into this action right here. Oof. Osif is the T-Rex, by the way. Oh, Omar got a good bite in. His buddies are around him, but not exactly helping. Omar makes a run for it. Emergency response urges people to stop recording and seek immediate shelter instead. Okay, so let's follow the highway, as I said, and we'll head back into the city. What we're actually going to do is... Oh, don't hit the Proceratosaurus. Okay, so we could, like, go into the city over there. But we're gonna take a different route. We're gonna go to the football field, and then we'll have a walk through the park. And we'll enter the city that way. So this is where we exit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm giving you layers, okay? I'm giving you realism. Acting, darling. <laughs> okay, so let's 
park over here. Let's find a spot. There are many parking lots throughout the city. Huh. Uh, I'm not quite in a good spot, but okay. <laughs> yeah, put on the handbrake, love. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We have the football field on this side. It's becoming dark. That's a little scary to be walking around the park at night, especially for a lady alone. Let me let me run actually. Okay, so this is uh, this is the football field. Now we're gonna go uh, into the park, as I said. There's like a little dirt path. It's it's a little hard to see. It's a little overgrown, but of course you know, the groundskeepers and stuff like that. They've been eaten at this point. Whoa, we have two Allosaurus walking through the duck pond. That's not good news for the ducks. Aww. Oh, that's kind of cute. Can you feel the love tonight? Oh, 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 oh. Wow, some fancy moves there. That's, uh, that's like professional footwork right there. Lime and Roger Bowen are fighting at sunset. Oh no! Oh, the Giganosaurus is Lime. Doesn't even get the honor of getting eaten. <laughs> Sorry. Here we have just an open field where you, you know, go through- Oh my god, the shadow is chasing me! <laughs> no, don't swallow me! No, the shadow is coming for me! It's coming for us all! <laughs> now we can exit the park on two sides. We can exit it over there. There's a little restroom, you know, where you can do your business before you head into the park. Because, you know, it's frowned upon if you do your business in the bushes. But since it is turning nighttime, we're gonna head into the graveyard first because this is not where I would want to be when it's uh, when it's pitch black night. Well, there's a little Stiggy over there just wandering through the foliage. I am um, I'm not sure you will survive the night, so good sir, I salute you. Roger Bowen and Omar. Don't don't tell me you're seriously gonna. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna tiptoe away? Are you kidding me? Stop picking fights then! <laughs> Look at him sneaking away! Nobody's gonna notice. Gavin is like, I'm sleepy. <laughs> it's exhausting lugging this big booty around. <laughs> I am making Gavin so uncomfortable right now. Gavin is regretting that I picked his name out of the comment section. <laughs> Gavin is like, why is my life like this? <laughs> I'm sorry, Gavin. Come on, Gavin, redeem yourself. Go take on that bracky. Sorry, Jurgen. I feel like we have some epic footwork coming. Yep, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, not that easy to take down, though. Hello. <laughs> I am pineapple versus another sticky. Stop picking on the stiggies. Uh oh 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 pineapple it costs you dearly you do not mess with the stiggies here we enter the graveyard of course i use the uh like the the jurassic park signs for that that, was, that that sounded way too close here rests medium carnivore oh speaking of medium carnivore oh yeah there's one stiggy all right, so when we come over here, this is the back of the church. Church, if I can speak. Obviously, and for very clear reasons, we don't have a church building in the game. So I made it a, uh, a rock climbing <laughs> attraction because, you know, we're all climbing towards heaven, scrambling to get up there. <laughs> I feel like I'm being very offensive, but they, this was the most suitable sign I felt. Uh, if we go over there, there's actually um, when we head back towards the park entry, but we've already been there, done that, so we're gonna move along. We're gonna head further downtown. Make my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass and I'm homebound. <laughs> Dr. Henry Wu, thank you so much for calling into BS News. You are considered the top de-extinction expert in the world. Rightly so. It's an honor, Doctor. Yes. What would you say to your detractors who hold you in part responsible for this situation? I found that a sense of great disappointment. I question the motivations behind that diminishment. 
and I'm always shocked when people th describe me kind of mad scientist type. Um, Would you instead consider the DPG responsible? Yes. The DPG has advised survivors to stay indoors. As an expert, what is your take on this? Couldn't agree more. I mean, you, you have to. Do you think these poor survivors stand a chance to make it through the night? I can't tell you. Anything. Now, the DPG is funded by the taxpayers' money to help in these exact crisis situations. But so far, the organization is still struggling just to reach the city. I have a, I have a, a strong opinion about that. Do you care to elaborate, Doctor? Cannot be said by me right now. I can tell you that they make me sign a thing that says that I get in very big trouble if I say much more. Are you saying you are under a gag order, Dr. Henry Wu? I can't tell you much more than that. You know, if they had attended to all of the loose ends, I probably would have been killed. Speaking of killings, there are reports of many casualties. Do you have any insight as to why the dinosaurs moved into the city all of a sudden? I, I know what they want, and I know why they want... Doctor? Dr. Henry Wu? Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we lost the signal. But that was Dr. Henry Wu talking exclusively to BS News. I'm Eve Square, your source for the latest updates. No, there goes Jurgen! Oh! Bounce! Oof. Gavin Boland, stop picking up people, dude! Oh. Like, literally, the biggest snack ever is just around the corner. You're gonna eat that? My god, dude, why would you eat chicken wings? You have a full T-bone steak waiting for you. I guess this is his appetizer? Look how it eats. Oof, potato bear. What is that? Euoplocephalus? No. Yes. Oh, wow, good guess. Oh, god. Oh, oof. Potato bear. I don't know how you're gonna... Oh, oh good roll, though. Good roll. Nice. Let's first person view this one. Bring out the action lighting. There you go. Oh, look at that monster. The beast. Chonky. Ooh. Oof, Potato Bear's doing his best, though. Whoa! Oh, and this time, he does not come up from the roll. Jedi Joe versus a pro Ceratosaurus. Look at the glowing Parasaurolophus in the background. Epic. Flare for the dramatic right here. Ooh. Parasaurolophus is strong! <laughs> and the, the, the Parasaurolophus was just a spectator to it all. This is- this is so- this is so Jurassic Park. Like, this is so PG behind a tree. <laughs> We're heading into, like, the fancy neighborhood right now. We're gonna head back towards the suburbs and the industrial area after that. Let's see what the hitbox is on the tail. Can we step over the tail? We can't even step over the tail. Uh, here we have a gas station along this road, and what I did... You could definitely do this better if you're using mods, but what I did is I kind of used this building as the car wash. So, you know, these are the gas pumps over here. You get your gas, you go in and you pay. Or if your car is, like, smeared with the blood of innocence, you can, <laughs> you can go through the car wash. And if you are using mods, you can just have the path go right up to the building, but this is as close as I could get it, because this entire park is without mods. Here we've reached a roundabout, so like I said, there is some fancy homes over here. Like, this is where, this is where the other people live, I suppose. It's sort of like a gated community kind of idea, and <laughs> there was no skin. Oh, look at his little mouth! Oh, that's so sad, his little tongue is like hanging, fence broken. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, my favorite part about this part of the town, and let me sprint to get to it, is one of the houses is still under construction. So it just has like a lot of sand, and it has like one of these mobile staff units, and it has the cranes. I thought that was kind of cool, and it wasn't at all because I was lazy and running out of ideas. <laughs> Clearly that was not the problem. We are back at the roundabout, and the sun is actually already rising. A red dawn rises. Is that the quote? That might be the quote. This Minmai has survived the night. We'll take this road because this is this is just more fancy houses, you know, big lots. Uh, use the hotels as homes as opposed to for suburbia where I use the restrooms at homes as homes, excuse me. All right, here we go. So we have the, the gray path, that's the road. The dirt path is the sidewalks. And actually, let's go in here. Hello, darling. You look spooked. 
This night will haunt me forever. So this is the driveway of one of the one of the big homes over here. This is one of the properties, so bigger buildings used as the homes. You know, there's like a separate garage and a pool house and stuff like that. You know, of course, a fountain because that's what fancy people have. I, iman I imagine, you know, fancy path, fancy fountain, that sort of stuff. Fancy lights, fancy trees. And if we just go along this road, you know, it's a more natural winding road and there are several properties along it. Uh, so here I use the hotel as the as the house and it looks it looks kind of cool. I feel like it convincingly looks like a mansion. And what we see like just over the treetops is the museum. Um, it's a little bit unfinished. But it's kind of, it's, it's kind of cool. It's it like has an aviary at the center and then like a monorail structure around it as I like to do. So here we go. This is the parking lot for the museum. We're expecting a lot of people, you know, because people want to be educated on dinosaurs considering they have to live among them now. This would be like one of the one of the entry points. And of course, out front it has a Spinosaur skeleton and some amber. You know, it lights up nicely at night. I think it's pretty cool. And now actually we're right back at the town square. So this time around what we're going to do is we're going to go across the town square and we're going to head into suburbia. Dum, dum, dee, dum, 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 dee, dum, dum. We can confirm reports that the carcass of what experts have identified as a Giganotosaurus is splayed out on the runway of the local airport, hindering accessibility of the remote mountain city. Roto is keeping himself busy. Ooh, Chimerosaurus! Oh, he couldn't take it down though. Reluctant follower, an arc addict. Uh-oh, 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 he's got you, he's got you! Run! Run, you fool! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was harsh. Brock! Brock, you did it, buddy! I'm so proud of you! Oh my god, what a go-getter. Whoa! <laughs> well, <laughs> there went Thomas Hawkins. <laughs> Look at how he's circling <laughs> His dead body. Okay, so this is the other entry point to the park, and the Stegosaurus and Werehosaurus are making good use of it. They're they're gonna go have a walk in the park. This is another parking lot. Oh, what do we have over there? A very injured Giganotosaurus eating a Dilophosaurus. Okay, so this is the parking lot for the supermarkets over there. Fossil zone, apparently. Look at that Dilophosaurus just sneaking about. Up to no good, I presume. Here we have a roundabout, and now we go into the suburbs. So here for the houses, I use the, the different styles of restrooms. So the DFW and the Jurassic World restrooms. I avoided using the ones with the thatched roof, because they didn't really fit like this Northern Californian aesthetic. Um, and the backyards, you know, there's a little bit of detail in here. I try to make each yard look a little bit different from the other, so I mixed up which path to use, which foliage to use, um, like the layout of the, the tables and parasols, stuff like that, the decorations out front. This is one of the intersections in the suburbs, and you just have to imagine, like, uh, the pylons is where the stoplights would hang from. If we go over there we go like into another block of the suburbs, but I guess we'll keep going this way. Actually, no, let's back it up. Back it up. We're gonna go this way. I don't need to show you the entire suburbs. You get the idea. And obviously you can go back and watch the building series for this if you are interested in like the, the nitty gritty details of it all. Here we have another nice roundabout, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into the industrial section, which is probably my favorite section. I think it looks really cool. And of course, that's all thanks to the DFW decorations that were added. Here we are at the main intersection of the industrial area. We have some Allure Titans and a Pseudoceratops just moseying, moseying about over here. 
Oh boy, there's trouble on the way, folks. That looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Both T-Rexes are over here in the industrial section. What kind of uh, murder happened here? Let's investigate. Oh, one of these Ceratosaurus. <gasps> Who is it? Who is it, you think? Oh my god, he's eating it. Who's the Ceratosaurus? It's Omar! <laughs> oh, rip. Rip. Oh, let's let's take a moment, folks. Let's take a moment. Let's pull out a gravestone for him. There you go, buddy. Too close to Omar. Too close. Too soon. Of course, there are many parking lots in the industrial section because people have to get to work, you know, sell their soul for the corporate ghouls, that sort of stuff. Uh, they do have nice office buildings, though. I've been told there's a pool on the roof, so that's nice. Who needs dental when you have a pool? Alright, so throughout the industrial area, obviously I made good use of the DFW decorations. So, you know, a crane here and there, crates, uh, the containers, obviously. Here's a little section behind a gate, which should open for us, yes. With some, uh, some toxic stuff, so this is behind lock and key, that only made sense. And over here we also have like a separate storage section where, you know, trucks would drop off uh, the containers that they're driving around. We have only one more place to go and that is the stone quarry. So I figured I'd go back and get the Jeep. Now if you go on the off ramp over here, you get a nice view of the industrial section. And an Allura Titan running for its life it looks like. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this entire road to the back of the city. Obviously the stone quarry is kind of in a in a remote section. And here we are. So it's basically just like a dent in the world. <laughs> a layered dent. Infrared and satellite footage shows just how extensive the Dinosaur Dominion truly is. The Dinosaur Protection Group has arrived on the scene, but it seems unlikely that they will be able to regain control over the situation. Their priority is cordoning off safe zones from which they will airlift out the remaining survivors, many of which have sought shelter in the gated community in the eastern part of town. The DPG was unavailable for commentary at this time. Carno Goji versus a Pro Serato. What's going on over here? Oh god, oh it's teamwork. It's two against one. It's a big one though. It's a big one. Oh yeah, going for the Oh no! Woo! <laughs> over the fence! He threw him over the fence! And he's dead. He also threw him into heaven. <laughs> And that was the tour of the entire Dominion City. I hope you had a great time with it. If you did, give the video a like. And of course, if you want to experience dinosaurs in your own city, you can do that by playing Jurassic World Alive. Use my link down below to get the game and have fun with it. For now, I want to thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, BS News brings you all the latest updates.